It has been one month since I've been living on my own and in my apartment and honestly, it's been the easiest, most seamless change of my life. Of course, it wasn't all easy getting everything I need or settling down or figuring out some things, but for the most part, I have been loving every single moment of this new chapter of my life. I always talk about creating my dream life, but actually living it is way easier said than done. What I've personally experienced is that once you truly decide that you want a good life, things would actually begin to shift to allow you to have that good life. You'll start finding that previously unlocked doors will start to open and that things would truly start to fall into place. But none of those things would ever happen until you actually decide. Your life doesn't get better by chance, it gets better by change. My biggest tip is to really imagine the person you want to be. I am someone who needs to write things down to really visualize and get into it. Some questions to ask yourself are, what would your daily life look like? What would be your habits? What would be your morning and night routine? By the way, these questions would be listed in the description bar down below so you can start journaling and really thinking about your life and what you want. Once you write that out, start actually creating that life. Make those habits become part of your life. Live your dream morning and night routine. Every single day, you get a chance to actually live your dream life. It won't be a magical overnight sudden change, but when you become the person who's actually living the life of your dreams, that in itself will be a magical experience. Always remember that no one is going to change your life. No one is going to do it for you. So it is up to you to decide in that moment that you will make the change and create your dream life. Last year when I was imagining the person that I wanted to be, I knew that I wanted my own place. I didn't know how it was going to happen or if I was strong enough to do it, but I knew with every part of me that in this new year, I would have my own apartment. I honestly manifested and visualized a dreamy apartment with tons of windows and beautiful natural light. And within a few days, literally about three days, this beautiful two bedroom space opened up at a price point that was perfect for me and that was in a safe neighborhood and that had these beautiful floor to ceiling windows which I simply adore. The way this was literally created from my own dreams and manifestations is honestly nothing short of magical. I actually took some time to write out what my perfect morning routine and night routine would look like and the best part is actually making that happen. Some habits in my daily life that I'm loving are nourishing my body with food that I love and eating intentionally and not depriving myself. I love spending time with Coco and giving her so much love at any chance I get. I love the feeling of doing my laundry so that I always have clean linens and fresh smelling clothes. Having lemon water in the morning and practicing gratitude and journaling. Other things I'm wanting to do is stretch every day or just do some kind of movement for at least the bare minimum five minutes. Working out does not come easy to me at all, so that's why I really want to focus on just those five minutes every day as part of my morning routine. Like I mentioned, no one said it's going to be easy, but being disciplined and sticking to your routine is honestly a form of self-care. 
It may not be fun every day to wake up early or get a workout in, but at least when you do, you know you will feel your best self. When you're disciplined, you love yourself enough to take action and do what is best for you. Even though you may not feel like it in the moment, you are always one decision away from a totally different life. For my morning routine, I also love adding a little touch of luxury with Dossier perfumes. I love them so much because you get high-end designer-inspired perfumes for a fraction of the cost and it is vegan and cruelty-free. This month, I am loving Floral Honeysuckle inspired by Gucci's Bloom Eau de Parfum. I spritz a bit on every morning for work or even when I'm staying in because it always makes me feel happy and it is the perfect way to romanticize my life. I'll have a coupon code down below so that you can browse through some designer-inspired fragrances and let me know if you find one that you love. So how do you choose to live? What person do you choose to be? What people do you choose to surround yourself with? What life do you choose to have? What do you want to manifest? I choose to live this year by trusting in the magic of new beginnings and consciously creating the life of my dreams. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe because it truly means so much to me and I don't want you to miss out on anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.